Taurians, what's up? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Welcome to your general love reading for July 27th of 2022. It is a general read, so it's not gonna resonate with every single Taurian out there, but if it does resonate with you, please like the video, leave me a comment, share and subscribe, all that good stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. It's good to see you guys today. I hope you guys are well. If you wanna inquire about a personal reading, check out the description box below. There's also my Instagram information and information as far as how you can purchase the extended reading for this read, okay? So check that out. I will talk more about what's in the extended at the end of this read if you're interested. Shout out to all my members. If you're not a member yet, click that join button. What you waiting on, boo? What you waiting on, Taurus? What we got? Avoid fatal conflict. Ooh, never scared by bone crusher. Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right now, Taurus. Now you know how y'all get with y'all tempers now. <laughs> Some of y'all, who y'all about to fight? Then you got Missed Opportunity, Beauty by Drew Hill. Sorry, I didn't notice you there, but again, you didn't notice me. So we'll remain passers-by until the next time we speak. I hope that I can make you mine for another man steals your heart. And once your beauty is mine, I swear we will never be apart. Walks by me every day. Her and love are the same. The woman has stolen my heart and beauty is her name. Where's my um spray? Hold on, y'all, because y'all know I got to get my spray just in case. Hold on. Because I don't fuck with these, these little gnats and these bugs. And Hold on. I just realized I got the microphone on me, so y'all can still hear me even though I walked away. I don't got to be talking all loud, right? Okay. Just to protect myself. Sometimes a little pieces from the instant be flying. It looks like bugs and it scares me and I don't like it. So just to be safe, let's spray my Lysol. Y'all know this is my best friend right here. Missed opportunity. Hmm. What's going on with you, Taurus? Let's get some romance angel messages. What are the romance angel messages, please, from my Taurians? What do they need to know? What's going on in their love life right now? Let's see. Playfulness in reverse. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Worth waiting for in reverse. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of y'all need to be a little bit more patient. Some of y'all like, no, I don't want to wait. Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, some of y'all need to have a little bit more faith in your love life. And that's whether you're dealing with a specific person or, you know, um, or if you're single. Because some of you soulmate is on the bottom. Yes, this is your soulmate. Some of you could be dealing with a soulmate or you could have a soulmate that's coming in. Okay, let's look at your Amira messages here. Please show me what's going on with my Taurians in love. My Taurians in love. What is going on with my Taurians right now in love, in their love life universe? This person that Taurus is dealing with, please show me what's going on. Okay. Courting man. Oh, shit. Okay. We got uniform and professional male. So some of you are dealing with a man that's courting you. I mean, you could be dealing with a female that's courting you too, right? But for a lot of you, you could be the courting man. You could be the one that's really whining and dining. Okay. Oh, we got true love, pure love, honest connection. Holy shit. All right, so there's a connection here. Dark male. Some of y'all connecting with a dark male, a dark skin male. If you date masculines, I mean, that can also be you if you're the dark male. One more card. Short term. Quick fling, endings, and time. Oh, my God. And on the bottom, you got travel here. It says vacation, honeymoon, and enjoyment. So some of you could possibly meet somebody while you're traveling, or you did. 
Um, some of you are just traveling right now. You're on vacation. You're enjoying yourselves. But a lot of you may meet somebody while you're traveling or you have. But some of you, I see, I see, I see a short-term connection with somebody. Quick fling endings in time. Mm-mm. Turn that down a little bit. Let me get a little bit more information. Which deck do I want to use for y'all? Let me see. Let me use this deck here. I haven't used this in a little while. Let's use this one. Can you clarify this courting man? Clarify the courting man, please. Who is this courting man? What's this courting man about? Courting man. The Eight of Wands. Oh, wow. Fast moving communication. Some of y'all, you met somebody while traveling. That's another card about traveling. And the Ace of Wands flew out and hit the floor. I see things moving fast between you and this courting man. Or you could, like I said, you could be the courting man. But I see things move. And I see a lot of passion. Some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all even fuck this person. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> show, me the, uh, show me the true love card. What's that about? Because I feel like there's two different things here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the true love card. One more card, please. Four of Wands. You got somebody coming in here. I don't know. For Since the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, so for some of you, this true love may not be here yet. But whoever this is, I feel like it's going to be a very solid connection. Four of Wands. That's even soulmate energy. Twin flame energy right there. Okay. Show me the dark male. Some of you, it's not here yet, or there's a delay. Show me this dark male. Who is this dark male? What's that about? Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that seems like they care about you a lot. Okay. That could also be you, Queen of Pentacles. They could be seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles, whether you're male or female. Somebody who's very nurturing, very caring, very loving. Six of Swords in reverse. Whoever this is, it's hard for them to move on from you. Show me this short term. Who, who is this short term? Quick fling endings. The hangman. Somebody that got you on hold. Could be a Pisces. Nine of wands in reverse with the seven of wands. So whoever this, this is, these are specific messages when I do the Amira deck. So it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for some of y'all Taurians, it's somebody that got you, had you on hold, turned out to be like a short term thing. Seemed like you got tired of that. Yeah, this person wasn't given equally. They could have been in and out, could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for you. Okay. Or a Pisces. Yeah. All right. Let's get into your overall message. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot right there. That's a lot right there, Taurus. That's a lot right there. Let's see. What is going on overall with my Taurians in love? What is going on overall with my Taurians in love? Please, universe. What is going on overall with my Taurians in love? Okay, four of cups. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You rejecting offers? You rejecting cups? Seven of swords. Ooh, who you left? Or some of you, somebody left you or ghosted you. Five of wands in reverse. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you juggling. Some of y'all talking to more than one person. Mm hmm. Three of Cups. Yeah, I see people around you. Definitely see you engaging. There's somebody that feels rejected by you. They feel like they offered you their cup and you didn't want it. I don't know who that is. Good energy. Your overall energy is the sun. That's Leo energy. Some of y'all are dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. But we know that that sun energy represents happiness, clarity, breakthrough, seeing things clearly. It's the most positive card in the deck. So your energy looks good. Yeah, page of pentacles behind there. Some of you are focused on school or some type of something you got your focus material-wise. Like, it's good. It's good, though. That's not for everybody. But four of wands, I see you building, like a, building more stability for yourself. 
But there's that four of wands card again. This came out on top of your true love. So yeah, it's showing you again, like, yeah. Because I see you around people. Somebody, can I clarify the seven of swords? What's that seven of swords? I feel like y'all dipped on somebody. The six of pentacles in reverse. Oh, some of y'all, somebody tried to do some, this is very specific. Some of y'all, somebody tried to do some sneak shit with your money. Mm. Some of y'all try to do some, some sneak, somebody try to do some sneak shit with your money. But some of y'all, oh, okay, this is, I'm getting a lot of messages for you, Taurus. Okay, so some of you, I'm seeing a situation where you, the person, you're giving more than this person. This person could have done something deceptive to you. They could have lied, cheated, tried to like ghosted you or some shit like that. Why is the four of cups here? Because somebody feels rejected. Is this you or is this somebody else? Because, yeah, this person is very unhappy. Who is this? It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like some of y'all are rejecting somebody. But you're rejecting this person because there's not going to be no type of, like there's no growth there with this person. It could be a playboy, playgirl with the king of wands and reverse energy. But with the ace of pentacles in reverse, that's not something that you're going to see long term. You know what I mean? Let me see the five of wands in reverse. What's that about here? Page of wands, king of pentacles in reverse, nine of swords. Oh, my God. Queen of swords, six of wands in reverse. Okay, so I see you staying away from drama. You not wanting to deal with no stupid ass drama. And people stressing you out. Hold on, let me see. Clarify the five of wands in reverse. Your shit is interesting this week, Taurus. Five of wands in reverse. The king of cups in reverse. Who is that? Temperance. So some of you are trying to like not really get emotionally attached to anybody, super emotionally attached to anybody. You feel like that's what's going to keep your peace. Show me the two of pentacles because you're definitely juggling here for you let somebody go too. But you don't want to be single. You don't want to be in a really, you, you don't want to be single. Show me the three of cups. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, Ten of Cups. Oh my God, why is my microphone all the way down here? My microphone literally was in my bra. I hope y'all can hear me this whole time. What the fuck is wrong with me, dude? I'm sitting here, my microphone's fucking in my titty. Y'all ain't say shit. Show me the four of wands. I feel like this new relationship or this strong connection is going to come in like when you least expect it with the moon card and the hangman in reverse. I feel like there's no more waiting. I feel like you've been waiting. But I feel like some of you Taurians, you have people around you, but I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's really people that you really see something super serious with for a lot of you. All right, let's look individually. Please show me what feelings Taurus has towards this person. What feelings does Taurus have towards this person? What feelings does Taurus have towards this person? What feelings does Taurus have towards this person? The lovers in reverse. Mm. Gemini energy. Ace of Wands, is it more sexual for you? The Chariot in Reverse, Cancer Energy. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer or Gemini. Seven of Swords in Reverse. With the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're single right now. It's showing me for some of you, Taurians, it's showing me, a, it's showing me something with somebody here that I see it more, uh, more sexual, more passionate, but I don't really see you feeling a strong bond or connection with somebody, whoever this person is. 
how does this person feel towards Taurus? What feelings does this person have towards Taurus? The Six of Wands. The Seven of Cups. This person get a lot of attention. Eight of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Oh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, boy. That's who you're dealing with? And both of y'all energy is the Seven of Wands. So you're guarded towards this person. They're guarded towards you. This person gets a lot of attention. I feel like things are like kind of like moving real slow between y'all right now. Whoever this is. Let me use this deck here to clarify. Because the Eight of Wands is in reverse on their end. Which is about, you know, delays or slow moving energy. This person got options. But your person, whoever this is, they a little moody. They coming up as the Knight of Cups in reverse. So we know how he get down, right? He or she get down. It's all depending on their mood. But this, whoever you're dealing with, they get a lot of attention. They could be a celebrity or somebody in the public eye. They have options. And I'm seeing issues with communication. So let's clarify, because you can feel some type of dis disconnect here with the lovers in reverse is your first card. Why are you pulling the lovers in reverse for the way you feel towards this person? The king of cups in reverse. So somebody's holding back emotionally. I feel like it's your person. Show me the lovers in reverse. Yep, two of wands. Yeah. Yeah. And this person's very guarded, but so are you. But you can feel it. They're very guarded. You're guarded. And it's it could be both of you. I just heard it could be both of you. I feel like for a lot of you Taurians, both of you have an issue opening up emotionally. Show me the Ace of Wands. But I feel like that Ace of Wands represents, oh, King and Queen. Didn't I say both of you? Didn't I say both of you, right? Look, and some of y'all dealing with a water sign. King and Queen of Cups. In reverse. You're both in reverse. Told you, neither one of you wants to open up emotionally. You're trying to keep it more sexual. Don't look at me like that. Show me the Ace of Wands. Whether you know it or not, the sun. There's that guarded energy again, the Seven of Wands. But the sun also shows me that you, the sun is here again. Like, you already know what it is. Show me the, the chariot in reverse. Why? Why is the chariot reversed? The high priestess in reverse. And you don't even, you trying to use your intuition to tap in about this person. But you, you can't. You can't. Your intuition is a little rusty right now when it comes to this person. Guiding you what to do. Show me the seven of swords in reverse. Don't look at me like that. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Oof. Two of cups in reverse. Yeah, see? But I don't see you've walked away from this person or you can. I don't see that you've, that you've walked away from this. But I don't feel like, yeah, there's not an equal give and take here. For, for a very small portion of you, something could have even happened with money with this person. Show me the six of wands, please, for this person. Six of wands. Can we clarify that? The fool in reverse. Um, could be an airy some of you connecting with. Nine of wands. This person is very regarded. I feel like they want you and they want this with the star here on the bottom, Aquarian energy. Okay. But with the fool in reverse, I don't see them re ready to take a risk here. They are very guarded. Show me the seven of cups. Some of you, if you're dealing with somebody who's in the public eye because they're famous or because they're known, they're even more guarded. Show me the seven of cups. The knight of swords in reverse. The 
seven of pentacles in reverse with the six of cups. Okay. So this person, yeah, they do have options. Um, but I feel like a lot of those options aren't really, you know, cause just cause you have options don't mean shit. You can have options and it could be a fucking 20 people who don't have shit are not doing well for themselves. So what good are those options or they're not matches for you? Cause everybody's not going to be a match for you, right? They're not, no matter how cute they are or how funny, how much they make you laugh. We know a match is hard. So for a lot of you, this person got options, but a lot of those options ain't really compared to you. They don't compare to you. Show me the eight of wands in reverse. I'm gonna be honest with you. So they're not even jumping on that. They really thinking about you, but this person, oh. So for some of you, they, they have to get over, they have to, for some of you Taurians, they have to get over the past. Before they can even start a new cycle with you, they have to close out a past cycle. They have to get over the past. Show me the Knight of Cups in reverse. This isn't a bad person. Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm. Ah, this person is emotionally immature. And there they go again with that. They like they ass kiss. Who is this? This person like getting their ass kissed. <laughs> and they, ah, this person funny. They clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse with the fucking Knight of Wands in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse. You are dealing with a, a very special individual. <laughs> oh, I love you, Cross Watcher. I love you. I love you, but you moody. Ooh, you in and out, ain't ya? Mm. Taurus. Let me see. How does this person view you, Taurus? Oh, that just flipped out. Whoa. Well, you don't got to worry about this person being attracted to you because that, the attraction is off the charts. This is the way this person see you. Why are they seeing you as the queen of wands? They like how you carry yourself. You're sexy. You're confident. The lovers in reverse. Why? There's that. There's that disconnect, though. Some of you, they think you look too good. They like, no, I'm not gonna. Mm -mm, there's no way <laughs> this is gonna happen with Taurus. Okay, how else does this person view Taurus? How else do they see you? They also seeing you as healing the King of Swords. Sometimes you come off kind of cold. Clarify the King of Swords. <laughs> Sometimes you come you come off kind of cold or busy. And for some of you, they think you're talking to other people. How do you see this person, Taurus? How do you view this person? You view them as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh, some of y'all see this person as a little bitter. Why the queen of swords in reverse? Some of y'all seeing this person as a little bitter. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And it could be because of some unhappiness from the past. Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Why the eight of swords in reverse? Some of y'all seeing this person as like a survivor. They survived something, something. Or some of you, they actually went to prison. They could have got out of jail or they survived some type of crazy legal issue or court system, court case or something. Wow, that's very specific. Some of you dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Libra. All right. Wow, okay. So let's look at this person's subconscious now. Let's see what messages are in their subconscious about you, about the way they feel about you. Um, maybe things they haven't actually communicated to you. Maybe things you felt intuitively will look into that for you. Um, and I will reveal those cards in the extended. Now, if you want to join me in the extended, the link is below in the description box. Okay. In the extended, I'll do a full spread on your person, Taurus. I'll see more about how they feel about you and what you can expect from them in the future. Okay. We'll also go ahead and pull Oracle cards to see what your advice is moving forward with this person. 
and overall, okay? So, oh, that one just hit the floor, so I'll take that one. So we'll go ahead and reveal these. If you want to join me, I'll see you there over on Vimeo. If not, I will see you guys next time. If the reading resonates, please don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up, okay? Hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates or it doesn't, and subscribe and share and tell a friend. And um, yeah, I appreciate all of you. I'll see you next time, all right? Take care, blessings, love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye.